All right, I've got another inexpensive electric bike. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not really calling this bike. It's more of like a hybrid between a bike and a scooter, and it looks like an old school mini bike. At $300, this is a pretty cool little deal. Let's take a look at the Karoma P1. Welcome back, I'm Tony from Coroma. This is, a, well, at least that's what the listing says. It is the P1. They've got a couple of different versions. This one does not show up on their actual company website, their official website. It's only on Amazon at this point. Maybe it'll expand to their website or not, but I'll put a link down in the description for their website so you can check out the company itself and some of their other offerings. And then I'll also have a link down there for the Amazon thing. I'm not an Amazon affiliate. Just giving you the link so you can find it. So let's go through some quick specs. We'll do a lightning unboxing. It's like two minutes long. That includes assembly. And even though it's prohibitively cold here, I have been out on a few rides on this. So we'll take it for a ride, come back and give you my final impressions. Let's go. So the listing says Coroma Peak 8 819 watt electric scooter for adults. It's a 500 watt motor on this, but the peak power on this is 819 watts. 48 volt battery, 25 miles of range, 20 mile per hour top speed, 14 inch tires, foldable electric scooter with seat for commuting. Uh, it folds, but just the handlebars fold down. Now, when you look at the link, make sure that you're looking at the right one because there is one that's called adjustable and that uh, I don't think that has all the suspension and stuff. And then of course, there is the shock absorbing version of it. So it's a $10 difference between the two of them. I would definitely go with the shock absorbing one for sure. And they say on there that the weight limit is 300 pounds. Yeah, I mean, 300 pounds won't break it, but if you try to put 300 pounds on this thing, it's not gonna be going anywhere fast. That's all I'm saying. So to sum it up, 500 watt motor, it's got a wide soft seat on it, shock absorption on both front and back, removable basket and triangular handlebar. They actually look like BMX handlebars, which I think is kind of cool. It has three different speed modes on it and the deck on this this is 21 inches by eight inches or eight inches by 21, whichever you want to say, but it, it's very comfortable and your feet fit on there really well. Of course, you got 14 inch pneumatic tires on here, nice big LCD display on here, foldable handlebar and front and rear light. And here's the comparison between the two that are actually on this listing. You've got the Chroma P1 black and the Chroma P2 black. The P2 doesn't have rear suspension and I don't think it has front suspension either, but it does have an adjustable foldable handlebar and the seat is adjustable as well. Both of them have a max range of 25 miles. I'd say that's not too far off from what you're actually gonna get on this thing. It's not gonna be a speed demon for you, but it goes pretty darn quick. When you're going 20 miles per hour on anything that you're not inside of, it feels quite fast. Let's get into the lightning unboxing and see how she rides.
All right, it's still windy and cold, but I just can't help it. I got to take a ride on this thing. Love this display. It is just a fantastic looking display, especially for something in this class. Got a bell over here. And you'll see that we don't have one of the thumb throttles that you're used to. And this doesn't twist, but this right here does. And that is how you go. So we're on speed one. Let's try it out. Nice. Okay, speed one, uh, 10 miles per hour. We're going to have to uh, bed these brakes here. That's actually surprisingly comfortable. I wasn't sure how that was going to be with that, you know, twisty throttle there. Let's just go up a speed. All right, so there's speed two. About 15 miles per hour on that. Now, we do have front and back disc brakes on here. They are not hydraulic or anything, you know, standard stuff. Okay, 15 miles per hour on speed number two, and let's go up a speed here. And here's speed three. Huh. The brakes are a little bit jerky when you use them. They're just kind of eh, 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 eh. But to be fair, this is the first ride. They haven't been worn in. And I was going into the wind this time. I'm going to turn around, so I'm not going into the wind. Real comfortable over speed bumps. All right, let's see what we can get for a top speed here. So top speed on the third speed. I was getting about, oh geez, 19.5 miles. And even going into the wind, I was going 18.5 miles per hour, so not too bad at all. All right, we've got a pretty big hill here. And I can tell you that the suspension, the shocks in the front and back, they definitely work. You can feel them as you go over the bumps and stuff. Now this hill, it's kind of steep, probably about a 20, 25% grade. But it gets steeper at the top and it's a little bit long, so let's see how we do. Well, we slowed down when we got up towards the top, but if I was comparing this to a scooter, I would say that this thing definitely did as well as a scooter does going up those hills and actually better. So not too bad. Yeah, these brakes, it's interesting. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna put this up to third speed and see how it does on grass. Yeah, that's not too shabby. That's when you really feel the suspension coming into play. All right, let's go down a curb. Nice. So I've been riding this now for a couple of days whenever it was warm enough to get out and ride. It's still not quite warm enough, but I find that, you know, if I'm just puttering around my little area near my home, second gear is okay. First gear is just a little bit too slow. But on this little country road right here, third gear, because we've got a lot of ups and downs. And I've got it nailed right now. Let's slow down a little bit, but that's pretty steep right there. And I also notice when it comes to the uh, throttle on here, 
you know, since you're not twisting like this, you're kind of twisting, I kind of end up twisting with the inside of my hand and then grabbing the grip. All right, coming up to some dirt. Let's see how this goes. All right, not too shabby. Whew. Actually does pretty good. Definitely can tell that the suspension is working. Okay, now if again, comparing this to a scooter, I have not had a scooter other than like, you know, one that's intended for off-road that has been able to do that, what this just did. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And my battery is, is lasting really well. The, the range on this has been great so far. I haven't charged it since the first day. Woo. Okay. I purposely went over that branch right there. And while I didn't feel it a whole lot, I don't know how well this thing will hold up over time with stuff like that. I don't think it's really intended for that. You can tell just by looking at the wheels, but I figured why not? Let's test it. I also want to comment on the brakes. If you're not familiar with bedding brakes, you want to make it go fast and then you want to use the brakes to bring it to a stop. And that will help to, uh, to get your brake pads and everything else set up so that they won't rub and all that. But one of the things that I addressed early on is the fact that the brakes felt jerky. Well, they don't feel quite as jerky now that I've used it for a few days and you know put, put a little bit of miles on it and use the brakes. But at first I was like, okay, that's unusual. And really the suspension works pretty darn good. Look. And so yeah, both the front and the back definitely working and working pretty good. Okay, so since I got some shade now, if we hit the brake, it does light up as a brake light. That's your tail light. And then we've got your headlight right up here. And it's pretty bright. And last, the deck on this thing is a nice wide deck and you've got the rubber grip all over that. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a mini bike. It might not be for everybody, but yeah, you can actually use this right here to flick the handle up and you can pull your handlebars back. There is actually an extra safety catch on here, so a little bit of extra safety with it. I'll just say when they first asked if I wanted to review this, I was like, oh, well, it, it quaintly looks like a little mini bike, like the mini bikes we had when I was a kid, not like a small bike, you know what I mean? Like a mini bike. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I was like, well, I don't know. I mean, hey, I like scooters. This looks like a scooter that's been made into a bike. It, it's a, a, a booter, <laughs> I don't know, but it's definitely a hybrid between the two. And it does outperform scooters that are, I'll say, in its class. Who would this be good for? Well, with the handlebars being able to fold down, it's gonna fit into a lot more spaces, so it might be good for commuting if you're a college student or if your work isn't too far, you know, five, 10 miles away, that type of thing. Maybe it's because you're looking for electric transportation under 500 bucks, that would be a good reason. Or you just want something to have fun with your kids if they've got scooters and things like that. Well, this might be a lot more comfortable for somebody who's uncomfortable standing on something, you know, whatever, and at 500 watts, You've got a pretty sizable motor there. It does slow down a little bit at the top of some hills and stuff, but as you saw, it can handle a little bit of uh, light off-roading. I, I don't exactly recommend it, but I wanted to test that. And every day I see people riding little, like the Jetsons and things like that, those little tiny bikes. Well, I, this is the same thing, but you don't have to pedal on this. There's no pedals to pedal. Now I have reviewed one of their scooters. If you haven't seen that, that link is popping up right here. I thought the scooter was pretty good. So I thought I'd give this a chance. And you know, for what it is, it's actually pretty cool. So that is the Karoma P1 uh, electric 
bike electric scooter. Maybe we just call it a booter. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's a hybrid. So there you go. I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, always very important to my channel. So if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red subscribe button down there and notification bell. If you click both of those, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. And every time you click a like or anything like that, it definitely helps with the algorithm. It gets YouTube to pay attention and suggest these videos more. Either way, your support means the world to me. And if you're so inclined and want to toss a couple bucks my way uh, to support the channel, there is a thanks button down below as well. Hey, it ain't cheap running these channels, you know? Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail Channel.